Oh. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. So today, it is, well, let's, let's just say the episode number, at least. Christ. Uh, it's episode 8 today, which is good fun. We're going to be doing something which involves this, I guess, technically. We are going to go and steal uh some villagers to start organizing ourselves because we're getting we're getting good now with what we need so i've made some obsidian uh we'll put this away for now we'll keep this on us we'll put this away just trying to clear the junk from my inventory uh we'll keep the flint and steel on us we'll keep the obsidian on us we'll keep the water on us so we know the village is i think over that way so we're going to basically make a portal there and then we're going to come back here well, to the nether coordinates of here, basically. Which would be divided by 8, basically. Or, alternatively, what we can do, and it might not be the worst idea, is we go down here and we destroy our nether portal. We build one a bit more higher up in a bit more of a reasonable spot. And then we take those coordinates. And we're basically going to just then dig a small little nether tunnel in between the two so that we can... um transport some villagers over here and start organizing ourselves a little bit I think is the plan now because um, we've got enchantments all sorted now there we go broken lovely um, hello 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 oh, I don't know where you are Fine, I was gonna try. He's like somewhere. Oh, Christ, he's probably up there somewhere. Yeah, he's probably up there somewhere. We'll leave him for now. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go and basically sort out a little, um, little nether connection for us, which should be a good time. So let's go all the way back up. We'll have a little sleep because I think it's getting dark as well. And then we're basically what we need the villagers for is to make one that can sell us a map that can tell us where an ocean monument is. And then we're going to be on our way to our goals. So let's have a little little kip, a little kip. Hope everyone's having an absolutely fantastic day so far. Uh, let's set this boy up somewhere a little bit maybe further. Somewhere like here. Just like one, two. Uh, let's do that. I don't mind wasting one block there. Uh, yeah, I think I do this. And then... Oh, I shouldn't have jumped down. That. And then just... Dood, dood, dood. Sure, that'll do. And this will be our nether portal. Uh, there we go. Let's just go through. Hoping it'll maybe generate us in a different place. Nope, same place. That's fine. Um... Just a little bit awkward, that's fine. But let's get the coordinates for here as well. Okay, I've taken a picture of that. Uh, I hear a Enderman. That's fine. We will go. Uh, and now we're going to basically run to the village. Build. Oh, well, that's good. At least we connect to the above ground portal now. So we're literally going to run over to the village, build a portal over there, which will then help us with transporting villagers back because as we said when we initially went over there the terrain was a little bit too um how damn it we're ablaze uh the terrain's a little bit too shaky for us to maybe just like boat them back and it would be quite resource expensive for me to um to basically uh use a minecart it would cost me uh, a hell of a lot um so, we're just going to basically leave it for now. Little piggy. Piggy piggy. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to basically, instead of doing that, we're going to run over there, build a portal, and then, because it's eight times less distance, because basically every one block you travel in the nether is eight blocks in the overworld. So, the distance isn't that far anyway. So, then when you divide it by eight, it makes it much more reasonable to do across the nether then it makes sense to do anywhere else. Um, so it's just over this way, I think, in fact. And then, like, we can find our way back a bit easier and stuff. Like, using the nether is quite a good way to not get lost, in a sense, and make your way home. Um, because for some reason, we struggle with this direction every time getting home. 
So let's just go, wait a second. There's no village here. Is there not? Ow! I saw that coming from a goddamn mile away. Isn't there? Ah, oh, there is a village. I just couldn't see it. Wasn't rendered in yet. There we go. So we're going to go build over here. A little nether portal. And then we're going to basically dig to the other one. And connect ourselves up. And that's the plan. We'll probably do a little little speedy time lapse. Like I've done in some of the other videos. Of the, the digging through the nether. Because honestly I could NASA for days. But I don't think anyone will find it that interesting. Me just like digging through the nether. So we're going to build it somewhere... Kind of central. Um, there's a good couple people here. Uh, maybe we could go a bit further in though. I don't know. Let's see. Here might not be the worst place to... Where's the bell actually? By the bell. Because then we can at least... Uh, I don't know. We'll build it here for now. There's a good couple people over here as well. Need to build it in the floor. So that we can basically boat someone in. And then bang. Ah! 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 Christ! <laughs> Christ, let me in the water. <laughs> I hit the one piece of tall grass in the middle of my face. <laughs> that was so dumb. Unbelievably so. Okay. So... We are now in the nether. Uh, we still need to find another fortress actually at some point. But we need to now head towards... Oh, we're so close already. Let me just get up the quads. So, negative zero basically. 37 and then... So we need to go down some blocks. And then negative 71. So, negative 71 is this way. Yeah. So we want to go sort of this way and with this pick as well this is why I wanted to wait for the pick Ooh. oh we made that <laughs> uh, let's just make sure that we have some building blocks and we need to basically be on that bridge um, I'm just trying to think about the best way there probably by going down here. Is this not... What are those noises, Christ? Well, what we'll do, look, is we will come here. Oh, wait. Why have I built this? Is this the way? Oh, it's here. Okay. So, in that case, we just need to basically go, let's just put a little bit more infrastructure here then. Because we are going to need this space. Uh, and then we need to go and we're going to just give it a nice wide burr. This is going to be so quick. Oh my god, we've never had such speed before. When it comes to transportation. Because look at this already. Wait, we're at the wall. There we go. And then we'll just simply dig up here. Oh, this is going to be so easy. It needs to be a little bit wide, uh, taller. I think it needs to be a couple blocks up. But that's fine. And then literally... We are through to where the other one is. Oh, beaut. Uh, we need to make sure that actually, the if we want to do this really easily, that we're all on the same height, which is fine. There we go. And then literally, we come across. Oh my god, I've never had an easier time. I've never had an easier time doing this. There we go. And we are at this portal now. And we'll just make sure we block this off a little bit. And now we can go through this portal to our home. Oh my god. Because we need some wood anyway for some boats. 
because we're going to use boats to get them through. We'll take as many villagers as we can. And then just take them through. Lovely, look at this. Oh my god. This is so fast as well, travel-wise. Takes us two seconds. We just go... Doot, 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 doot. I've never, like, when I've done this before, I've always had to do quite a long nether tunnel. Which is kind of why I thought this this was going to be quite a time lapsey thing. Because I thought it was going to be quite a long part of my... Um, <laughs> my uh, episode otherwise but no it was not let's just chuck this here do this let's just make a load of boats because we're gonna need to catch these guys okay that's one nice and easy we want to make sure that we We don't want to get caught on the bloody... Ah, oh, this is always annoying. Because it's like a slight increment less, um, doing anything becomes really difficult. So that's fine though. We're just going to keep catching them for now. At least if we catch them. Someone? Someone? There we go. We're in this one now. We're in this one. We can go this way. Stay on the grass. Lovely. Look at this. Look at this. And then all we got to do is go here. Shift out. Break this. Gone. That's one. This guy, we're just going to break out. Oh, sorry. Two people already in there. Villagers are by far the most infuriating creatures. Because they spend their life trying to aggravate you. So we need to make sure that we go onto the green grass. Beautiful water landing. So that's two we've got right now. We need to... I think I want to get at least four guys uh, over to my place. I think that seems like a reasonable number. Oh no. Oh, well, there you go. That's another. I've never had such an easy time. And then this is four. Beep. Off we go. Let's take them away. It's night time currently, so what we might do to make sure that we don't have any difficulties when we get to the other side is quickly sleep. No bed in here. Shame. Because I hear skelly bobs. Out of your bed, boy. I need it. Don't know where they are. This village will be fine, right? Sure. Okay, so we need to have boats on our hotbar. At least four. Because we know we've got some guys on the other side and we want to make sure that we get them all in individual boats. They're already on the move. Guys, don't. Oh my god. Risky boys. Okay, that's two. Oh, you bastards. Don't do it. So sometimes what's really good to do is block off your... No, yeah, there you go. That's fine. So then what I'll do here is I'll put a boat... Oh, fuck. Just to get them all in one. Sake, really? You, sorry, you didn't go in that one? Not good enough for you? Sure. Um, there we go, he's in one now. Let me just make sure that we get everyone in. Come on, oh, not in the same one. Different ones. You, boat, you all get one boat each. You absolute... Morons. Right. Right. We gotta move him over to here at least. The further away they are, the easier this is gonna get.
one of you in. Come on. Only one of you. There we go. One of you in. You. <laughs> That's a fucking joke. That is a fucking joke. Do you see that? He looked at me and went, nope. In your own boat, okay. Yep, that's fine. In your own boat. Right, we've got them all in boats now. They've all lost their jobs, which is good. So now we can just boat them all nice and safely oh, around this bend. Beautiful. And what we'll do is we'll leave them on this side for a second while we sort of prep a little, little stone area around the portal. Because we don't want them doing what they did over this side and just running amok immediately. Running amok? We don't want them running a bloody muck. This was just ridiculous, though. If they weren't so useful, I'd put them all down. But we'll make one into um, a Fletcher for sure. Because that sticks trade is just like... Sticks for emeralds? Easy. And then one needs to be a calligrapher. And then literally from there... We will just trade until we can get a calligrapher that will sell us a um, a map to an ocean monument. We don't really need villagers right now um, for anything other than that. Because then once we've done that, we'll go and find the ocean monument. And then we'll move villagers over there and we'll make a bit more of a refined setup. We're just trying to find our home right now. But we're close to it, guys. We're bloody close, you know. It's only episode 8, I think I said. And we're already at the point of possible finding this ocean monument and then we just need to go in kill everything in there i'm sure that's super easy um i've definitely not seen people struggle to do that um i know it's not the most original base i do know that but it will still be fun for me i've never done it uh and if i'm honest this is all about me having fun you guys get to watch and have a laugh with me but this is about my enjoyment i'm a selfish boy but i will have my fun Boats is the... I love to imagine someone just on the land, just like fucking rowing, just... We're gonna make it! Oh my god, Christ. I almost rowed us into the lava. <laughs> that would have been terrifying. Lovely. Park is up right here. Let's make sure on the other side we can have a safe life. Lovely. Let's grab some Kubel. Kubel stone. What is the Kubel? There it is. We just need a little little safe area for them right now. And we need to go and get some wool as well for beds. There we go. Let's just... It only needs to be two blocks high. And, actually, to stop them coming back through, what we're going to do is we're going to do that instead. Um, and then they should stay on this side. And do you know what we'll do? We will funnel them straight forwards into a house, I think. Rather than causing a load of commotion. Because I know what will happen is they're just like, they're so hard to move anyway. And you saw the difficulty of getting them all in a boat. It's quite a, quite a slug. Did I hear a wandering trader go? Maybe. I don't know. We'll keep a, keep a ear out. If you hear him, tell me in the comments. Because I keep the things on so you can technically say if the timestamp. Because you can see when it would have sounded in the corner there. Like we hear cows, for example. Okay, right. Let's just then basically funnel them forwards into some sort of just like real rudimentary room. Not even room, if I'm honest. Just further holding pen. As long as we've got enough room for activities, 
What more do you want? So much room for activities. Okay, right. So now, one at a time basically, what we're going to do is drive a boat over. Do exactly what we did last time, break the boat. And off he goes. Then, next one. Drive the boat over. There's two gone. Let's just make sure everything's going alright on the other side. Beautiful. Don't go back through. Uh, if anything, both of you sit in there. They can sit in the same boat now, because it doesn't matter. I'm just holding them on this side. Lovely. Send another through. Off we go to paradise. That's what I'm calling it. Paradise. They will find it uh, a work camp. Oh, God. Mm, I didn't like saying that word. Going to turn that word into uh, summer vacation because I instantly regretted what I said. Um, and then another boat here. And that will catch the other guy. I just don't want them going back through, so. There we go. Uh, we're going to need to put a door on this, so we'll put a door somewhere like here. We'll put like a, a double door, maybe. We need to make sure that the babies don't get out, though, is a big thing. Um, and they're going to need to be iron doors so that they can't open them. So let's. Let's make sure we don't have a ludicrous amount of boats on us, right? Because that would be dumb. To have stupid amount of boats. Instead, we shall fill our lake with boats. In case we ever set sail. There we go. That's fine. Oy! Oh, I'm stuck under the boats. They tried to drown me! <laughs> um, so let's then do this. We get three doors here, right, and then let's, I think I had some smooth stone, didn't I? I did, lovely. Let's basically make some pressure plates. We need at least two pressure plates, right? We're trying to make a high security system here. I don't really want them getting out. So it'd be something like here, here, here. Right, so you'll come in, and then we'll have another door here, which will be via button. And you will push the button to get in. Oh, that opens both doors. That's a real security concern right there. What? Why the bloody hell does that open both doors? Okay, instead, don't worry. That's that's good to know. There we go. Yeah, okay. So, mm, but then this is a security concern, isn't it? Unless we always wait for this, and then we go in. Yeah, maybe. Okay. We need to sleep, either way. Uh, so let's quickly sleep. We then need to hunt down some sheep real quick to do some shearing. Uh, actually, let's make what we need to make first. Uh, do we not have any flint? Oh, there you go. Flint. Uh, so then we need to make... It's basically... Uh, one of these. That's a Fletcher's table, right? We then want... A um a other person's table, one of these tables. So these are the main two things that we want. We could probably do with another Fletcher. I don't think that would hurt us. And then I think we'll leave it there. Uh, we don't have any spare wool, do we? We have a spare bed actually. We need some shears. I know we've got shears somewhere. Oh, 
maybe not. We need to find some sheeples now. Although I know the dog population around here has slaughtered the sheep. Oh yeah. So, oh, we need to make sure that anywhere we put things like that, we're gonna need to big up the security. Because they'll jump the fence immediately. Okay, so that's fine. So two Fletchers now. Perfect. And they both have the stick trade. So let's make sure we lock them in with that by just trading with them once. Each. Perfect. And then... Perfect. So we've got some emeralds. Oh, do you know what? Let's level them both up because it will take two seconds to do. And it will be worth our time. So let's just quickly make sure that we... One, two, there you go. That's him leveled up. Then one, what happened there? Oh, two, we need more sticks for him. Why don't you stack, oh, there you go. Three, we need a little bit more wood for you, buddy. What's your friend got? I mean, dog trades, but that's fine. Um, Pushing me forwards, I'm going to beat your friends otherwise. Okay. And then we've got a scribe here, which is fine. What's this? Empty map. Oh, okay. We will lock him in as well. And now we basically have to just keep trading until we can get someone who can... I don't really want to buy empty maps off of him, if I'm honest. Um, I'd rather trade with stick boys. Uh, but where's the way out? Oh no, wait. Did we? <gasps> no, the button. The button's gone. Oh, there it is. Whee. Okay, security. That's security right there. We need to level up the other stick boy, which means harvesting some wood real quick. Oh, our nice axe is gone. <laughs> I didn't realise it was like that close to breaking, if I'm honest. <laughs> That's fine. We'll make another axe. Um, I wish I had diamonds spare for that. Uh, we do have plenty of iron and sticks, though. Um, let's just make sure we grab all of the, the sticks in case we have spares. Knew we have spares. Um, we could possibly try and make a lectern, actually, as well. I think for a lectern we need a bookshelf, and then we need some slabs. Lectern, there we go. Um, we'll make the rest into that, into that, into that. And we will, we'll basically, we'll cycle a villager until we get mending, I think. Because that's the only really relevant um, inch, uh, thing I want. Out of the way. Come on. Out of the way. Let your friend become something useful. Okay. Uh, it's fine. Uh, we need to trade with you to level you up. Beautiful. And then because you're high trades right now, we're just going to trade you the friend. Okay. What did you get as a, a reward? Arrows for 16. I mean, we've got infinite arrows is the thing, so we don't really need that um, at the moment. He is kind of useless. I think they can get a book, enchanted book, when they start. So, for now, escape. Okay. Um, we need two. How do I get more boats? Basically, what I'll do between episodes is I'll cycle trade that um, librarian... Uh, I need to go and find some... We need to find some... Sheeples real quick. Let's see if we can hunt some sheep real quick. Problem is, the dogs around here are quite vicious. And they have slaughtered our sheep population pretty drastically. Um, to the point of... There's not that many left around here. <gasps> sheep! I said that. And then immediately found you. 
Okay, so that's four. So we do need more than that, because we need what? Three, six, nine, tw twelve. We need twelve wool. Okay, well, they're just going to keep eating, and I'll just keep shearing them. There's two at least. This one gives one every time. You should have been eaten by dogs by now. It's ridiculous what you're doing to me. This guy always gives plenty. You give nothing. Go on, eat one more piece of grass. Grow your wool. There you go. Finally, gave me a little bit more. Two instead of one. Ridiculous. Uh, we need more wood as well to make the beds. And then basically, we're going to start to use those villagers to produce uh, what we need to get the map. And then once we've got the map, go and hunt down. So we've actually now brought villagers over. I mean, we're smashing this board, admittedly. Uh, let's just like chuck some of this away for a second. Uh, I need to make an axe. Axe, there we go. Get some wood, and then we'll build some beds, and then we'll give them a little bedroom as well, because currently they don't have a bedroom. I'm not a horrible person. I will give them a nice bedroom. There we go. Yep, that looks good. And then we just need to... Uh, I want to make, actually... A wooden door for them. Ooh, there's bangs going on outside. There's builders doing work. And I've parked my car right in front of them by accident. So I'm a bit of a dickhead. Um, let's just build them a little bedroom over here. And I'm, I'm worried they're going to smash up my car, basically. Is what I'm saying. Please, if you're a builder working near my house, don't hurt my car. I need it. It's very useful for me. And I keep hearing dings. And I'm worried. But, look at this. We've got a little bedroom set up now. For them to, to sleep in. We're just gonna basically... Bang, 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 bang. Bang, 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 bang. It's a bit dark in here, don't worry about that. Because... Toshe, toshe. And then one... Two, three, four. This is where they come to sleep. Right, boys. There we go. Look at this now. This is life, guys. Right? This is life. I don't want you escaping, so we're just going to put a little roof on you guys. you got beds now. So you can sleep. Let's just make sure you're well lit up. Let's also uh, block this off, I think. There you go. You're all happy now, aren't you? You got this bedroom. There we go. You got this main room where you can all work. We're going to stay here until it's night time to make sure they all, uh, all take a bed, though. And then what we can do is we can unplug this now, basically. And if we ever need to bring any more villagers in, it's not too hard for us to, like, reattach this to the nether portal. Uh, night time is coming. So they will sleep soon. Almost. He tried to escape. You all saw it. Escape is forbidden. Forboden, my friend. Take your workstation. Come on. You're the only one that hasn't taken a workstation. Take it. Why don't you want this? It's beautiful. It's a lovely lectern. For you. Ah, that's mine. No one take that. We've got 15 emeralds. What? What's wrong with you? Why don't you want this? There you go. That was weird. Uh, piercing one. Not a useful enchant at all. You can see why um, 
this is going to take a long time. Because we are just going to have to cycle and cycle for days. Uh, are you boys going to go and sleep at some point? Just FYI, because it is night time. Normally, you guys would have slept by now. Uh, one, two... Is it... What's... What's wrong with the bedroom? I can sleep in here. Why aren't you guys? Is it... Is it not... What's wrong with it? Right. we got to fix the bedroom for them. Maybe the roof's not high enough. I don't know. You guys want to hire a roof? We'll raise the roof. No worries, boys. Simple matter. Just have to ask next time. Um... Maybe also, if I'm honest, they might want some more space. So let's just give them a little bit more. Uh, this will do. Right, and then we just come over here, like so. We do this. I'm going to go back in now. Dig out what needs to be dug. There we go. A little bit more room, boys. I heard you were complaining about space. Well, oh, I don't want you seeing the outside. That would be bad, wouldn't it, boys? Uh, let's now respace your beds, I guess. Let's do maybe. Oh, you idiot. One. Get out of my way. Two. Where'd that one bed go? There it is. Uh, and then let's do like three, four. So now you should be all able to sleep, I think, tonight. I don't know. We'll see. Let's just put that there for there. So it should be able to just go to their bed. Yeah, I reckon this is fine. What do you have for me? Nothing good. Anyway, um, I think we're going to call it there because I think I've gone a little bit over. I think we've we've been very successful though. Let's have a look at our handiwork from the outside. It looks ugly, but this is the Villager Dome. Bum, bum, bum. Do you know what? It looks like um, the bloody Mars program where they have domes connected with little little tunnels. So, as always, I hope you have a fabulous evening, day, morning, afternoon, whatever you're doing. Live your life and have a good time, and I will see you next episode. Thank you very much for tuning in. Please like and subscribe, and I love you all.